In this video, we'll show you how to calculate the molar solubility of a compound if you know it's KSP. Compounds with low solubility always establish an equilibrium when they are placed in water. This is called solubility equilibrium. Example, when lead to sulfate is added to water, the equilibrium equation is written as PBSO4 solid, then an equilibrium arrow, PB2 plus aqueous, plus SO4 2 minus aqueous. The equilibrium constant expression, KQ, for this, is KQ equals the concentration of PB2 plus times the concentration of SO4 2 minus. Remember, because PBSO4 is a solid, its concentration is constant, so it's left out of the KQ expression. If the equation is specifically a solubility equilibrium, we change KQ to KSP, which is called the solubility product constant. The concentrations of these ions depends on the solubility and the equilibrium constant is the product of these concentrations. Therefore, it's called the solubility product constant, or KSP for short. Because solubility always depends on temperature, values of KSP are given with the temperature specified. For example, the table of solubility product constants in the BC Chemistry 12 data booklet lists KSPs at 25 degrees. Unless otherwise stated, in Chemistry 12, we can assume that all given KSPs are at 25 degrees Celsius. Molar solubility is the number of moles of a substance that will dissolve in water to form one liter of a saturated solution. It is expressed in moles per liter or molarity, abbreviated with a capital M. A saturated solution is the solution that forms when a compound is at solubility equilibrium. In other words, it is the solution that contains all of the dissolved solute that it can. Its concentration is just equal to its molar solubility. Now we'll look at how equilibrium equations tell us the relationship between molar solubility and the concentrations of each ion in a saturated solution. The concentrations of ions in a saturated solution, or one at solubility equilibrium, depend on the molar solubility of the compound and the coefficient of each ion in the equilibrium equation. For example, consider the compound lead to sulfate. Its solubility equilibrium equation is PbSO4 gives Pb2 plus plus SO4 2 minus. Because no coefficients are shown for the solid compound or the ions, we can assume the coefficient is 1 for each of these. So the ratio of Pb2 plus to PbSO4 is 1 to 1. And the ratio of SO4 to minus to PbSO4 is also 1 to 1. The molar solubility of the solid is how much of it dissolves in moles per liter to form a saturated solution. Because there's a one-to-one -one ratio, the concentration of PV2 plus in a saturated solution is just equal to the molar solubility of PBSO4. Because there's also a one-to-one -one ratio of SO4 to minus to PBSO4, the concentration of SO4 to minus in a saturated solution is also equal to the molar solubility of PBSO4. Because the salt PBSO4 dissociates to produce one cation and one anion, or one of each ion, we call it an AB type compound. In AB, there is one A and one B. Now we'll consider another low solubility compound, lead to bromide, or PBBr2. Its solubility equilibrium equation is PBBr2 is in equilibrium with Pb2 plus plus 2Br minus. Because there is a one-to-one -one ratio of PB2 plus to PBBr2, the concentration of PB2 plus in a saturated solution is equal to the molar solubility of PBBr2. But there is a two-to-one ratio of Br minus to PBBr2, so the concentration of Br minus in a saturated solution is two times the molar solubility of PBBr2. The compound PBBr2 dissociates to produce one Pb2 plus and two Br minus ions. So it produces one of one ion and two of the other ion. Therefore, we call it an AB2 type compound. 
Now we'll do an example of finding the solubility of an AB type compound given its KSP. We're asked to find the molar solubility of PBS of 4 at 25 degrees. Its KSP at 25 degrees is given as 1.8 times 10 to the negative 8. The first step is to write the balanced equation for the solubility equilibrium of PBS of 4. Next, we let the molar solubility of PBS of 4 equal S. Because the mole ratio of PB2 plus to PBS of 4 is 1 to 1, the concentration of PB2 plus is equal to the molar solubility S. So we write an S on top of the PB2 plus in the equation. The mole ratio of SO4 to minus to PBS of 4 is also 1 to 1. So the concentration of SO4 to minus is also equal to the molar solubility S. So we write an S on top of the SO4 to minus in the equation. In step 2, we write the KSP expression for the low solubility compound PBSO4. Its KSP equals the concentration of PB2 plus times the concentration of SO4 to minus. In step 3, we use the KSP expression to find the molar solubility of PBSO4. We'll move the KSP expression down here. Looking at the equilibrium equation on the top, we see that the concentration of PB2 plus is equal to S. So we can substitute S in here for the concentration of PB2 plus, like this. And the concentration of SO4 to minus is also equal to S. So we can also substitute S in for the concentration of sulfate, SO4 to minus, like this. So we have substituted S into the KSP expression, both for PB2 plus and for SO4 to minus. So KSP is equal to S times S, which is equal to S squared. To solve for S, we take the square root of both sides of this equation. And we end up with the expression S is equal to the square root of KSP. In the next step, we substitute the given value of 1.8 times 10 to the negative 8 in for KSP. So S is equal to the square root of 1.8 times 10 to the negative 8 which comes out to 1.34 times 10 to the negative fourth. Because S is molar solubility, it must have a concentration unit. So we use the unit M for molar concentration. The KSP value we used had two significant figures. So we need to round our answer to two significant figures. Rounding to two significant figures gives us 1.3 times 10 to the negative fourth molar. So the final answer is that the molar solubility of PBS of 4 at 25 degrees is 1.3 times 10 to the negative fourth molar.